Hello everyone, I'm Krasi, and I want to talk about this autumn. From every direction we hear, it's like on purpose, we hear how frightening astrologically uh, on mundane, on world level, how frightening the situation will be, um, how disastrous uh, the world will be in the autumn, and it is uh, disinformation is coming uh, from YouTube, from astrology channels, also from the mainstream media, just name it. It's just from everywhere. And I was really thinking, do we really need to be that afraid from the months to come? Um, and I want to analyze this together with you. I will share with you my reasoning and we will think together. Do we really need to be so afraid this autumn from the coming celestial events, which of course always result in the uh, events on earth. Is the situation that, um, that scary? Well, by no means this year is easy. We already know this, I will not surprise you. We know this because we're having six eclipses. This is a lot. Every year, from two to seven eclipses take place. The year which has six eclipses is considered to be difficult. Also, there are so many other factors which are showing that the world is changing, but do we really need to be that scared? This is the question. And I will be um, talking with specific um, dates and, uh, and also planetary uh, transits in a, in a moment. Another thing is, when we look at the current situation, uh, which is triggered by many factors, of course, we know that in January 2020, Saturn entered uh, Sidereal Capricorn. In Sidereal Capricorn, historically, statistically, cyclically, whichever term you like to use, Saturn is always, always introducing changes. Because imagine Saturn is the, is the Lord who is, uh, who is um, having his return into his own uh, kingdom, Capricorn, every once in 28 something years. When he gets back home, of course, it is like the king goes back home after a long uh, time of absence. Of course, he would like to clean, clear, um, uh, change what he doesn't like, introduce changes. Um, so this is what Saturn is doing. This is only if we look at Saturn. He entered in January 2020, Sidereal Capricorn, Every time he enters again, Sidereal Capricorn, world changes are taking place. But this is not the, the only factor which is meaning that the, we are going through change because this is the God's will. Because if this, happen, if this is happening above and if this, it will result here. And this is always blessed by God. Another thing is, in addition to the Saturn in return in the sidereal uh, astronomical Capricorn, we do have Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, which I, is not considered to be that evil. Even in some literature texts, you will see that they name this conjunction uh, a royal conjunction, because depending how Jupiter and Saturn are placed in your horoscope, this conjunction can bring you lots of money. So, or it will bring financial changes for sure. Another interesting and very important factor is that um, Mars, who is the god um, divinity which is causing natural disasters, wars, aggression, attacks, terrorism, plague, diseases, um, so the first heliacal appearance of Mars happened in November 2019 in Sidereal Virgo. What is Virgo? The natural sixth house of the zodiac related to health, related to conflicts, related to competition, related to uh, our routine. So Mars will be having his tour in, uh, along the zodiac 
up until he becomes invisible again and becomes visible again next year in uh, January 2020, nah, again, late 2000, end of 2021 in Sidereo Scorpio. So you see, we have many reasons to understand that this year is very karmic for each one of us. Then we had Jupiter Pluto conjunction and so on and so on. But let's see what is going to happen in the autumn. Why am I, why am I mentioning Mars? Because the route, the transit of Mars is so important when it comes to all these events. Because he, see, in November he became visible in Sidereo um, Virgo. And from there the problem started manipulated or not they are to be seen in the in our everyday life so what is happening in on 19th of august mars will enter sidereal aries right now mars is in pisces he can be very very unpredictable while in pisces and you see that in some uh, you see all over the world you're having conflicts riots people are protesting this is one of the manifestations only one of the manifestations of mars in pisces so in uh, august 19 mars who enters sidereal aries um, in sidereal aries he is entering his own kingdom so i do not expect that mars in aries will be that bad so while he is there uh, he will, we will experience his uh, pure energies that won't be that surprising. So this is a count already, end of the summer, 19th of August. Mars is entering Aries. In Aries, he is himself um, powerful, uh, aggressive, but I don't think that he's that evil. I don't think that while he's in, um, in Aries, we will suffer so much there we will, we will be able to predict him to predict the uh the actions of of the governments and, uh, and people because while he will be in aries he will be receiving the square of saturn which would say that uh what that mm, during this period another um possible manipulations and, and uh, um, attempts to introduce division between people and, and hate between people will be possible. Um, so, but let's not forget that while Saturn will be squaring Mars, while he will be in Aries, in the very same moment, Jupiter will be creating harmonious trine. What is this? It is, um, continuation of the process of awakening so nothing new they will continue those that are manipulating us heavily if we allow that so nothing new will happen just that they may continue with the predictable predicted by us attempts so saturn while mars will be in aries until 10th until, uh, excuse me, until 2nd of October, Saturn is creating square, but then Jupiter is creating trine. Um, and Venus will be creating trine. So nothing so fearful so far, because while he will be in Aries, his nature will be just like pure aggression maybe, or pure um, brave um, brave actions but uh, which we will be seeing um, in in the behavior of more and more people and then attempts of the governments to manipulate to introduce measures but Jupiter and Venus will be creating harmonious aspects so on 10th of September Mars is becoming stationary in the very same moment to, to turn retrograde. In the very same moment, Jupiter is becoming stationary to become direct. So you see, heaven, God is giving us enormous help. What is Jupiter? The truth. Jupiter is the truth. The day ruled by Jupiter, 
Thursday is the day of truth. Truth. We will be seeing the truth. We'll be able to, we'll be shown the truth. So we will be, there will be attempts to manipulate us. There will be attempts, uh, additional measures to be introduced for sure. But we will be seeing, we will be awakening. There will be the, the wave of awakening and the number of people that will be awakening every day will increase for good enormously. So you can see that there is a balance in the universe. When there is something difficult given, the solutions are always given as well. So we only need to have open eyes and find them. So this is happening. And then um, on October the 2nd, Mars retrograde is entering Pisces again. What is this? Again, the unpredictable actions of Mars. Already when he turns retrograde in, um, in Aries with the, with the aspect of Saturn, uh, the, those that are manipulating us heavily will remind us of the measures they've been taking before. They, because when Mars is retrograde, he's watching towards the events that took place already. But do we need to care about this so much? Would there be anything new? No. Do we have open eyes? Yes, we really know they can't surprise us anymore. So what is happening is that on October 2nd, Mars retrograde will enter Pisces again to remind us of what is happening today. Um, what is happening today in every country? Fake numbers of um, sick people, um, fake tests, fake, fake, fake all around you, but we know that. Can, what else can they cause us? Nothing, really nothing. We should not, the more we open our eyes, the more we become awakened to the truth, the less can, can happen to us. Nothing, nothing very surprising can happen. I am, I am sure that the autumn will not be easy because, um, Remember, October 2019, Mars became visible for the first time in Virgo. This is the beginning of his cycle. Virgo, conflicts, competition, diseases. Up until he continues his transits and, and ends his cycle, we'll be seeing what we've been seeing so far and nothing new. So there are no reasons for uh, fear. Fear will be um, projected through the media. And this is one of the reasons, or this is one of the um, natures of the unpredictable Mars, who can be very good. He can have this beautiful, lofty, brave side of daring, not uh, aggression, not um, disease, not um, unpredict unpredictable harmful behavior. He can actually be very, very uh, brave, beautifully lofty warrior, um, a soldier who has strategy, who has strategy. This is the other athletic, strategic warrior. This is also what Mars can be. So how we experience the energies, how we manifest our own energies, how we understand the transit of Mars is also in our hands and depends on our vibrational level and depends also on our uh, stage of awakening. But I believe people are, are really getting there every day. So uh, how far one can manipulate you is in your own hands. Do we allow this? It's like someone who come and try to lie to you. Whether we allow this or not, it's in our it's in our hands, right? Whether we allow to be manipulated, whether we allow to um, allow ourselves to experience fears and anxieties, you know, it's also in our hands. And this is what will be happening this autumn. Yes, in November we have eclipse, but like I'm telling you, eclipses. We do not, the, the nature of the eclipses 
um, is such that we do not experience their influence for in the very moment. We are still under the influence of the eclipse which took place in January, I can tell you. So the, the eclipse will take place in November. So what? Will you still be afflicted uh, by the eclipses of, Ju of June, uh, of July, uh, June as well? So we just need to go through this because this is beautiful for our souls for the purposes of our souls because we chose these times uh these interesting times for earth for the earth for the planet so my opinion is in summary that up until mars closes his cycle the same events in, with different uh, orchestrated scenario will appear and reappear and this will, will, this will be also the case in 2021, but with a, less, with, with a different scenario. Um, so, nothing surprising, nothing new. We will just need to pass through these um, through these events for the good of our soul purposes. And we will not be uh, harmed if we live with God, if we are connected with the Creator, then nothing and nothing can happen to us. So, connect with the planets, uh, connect with your higher self, welcome the sun in the morning, uh, do good for yourself, don't allow any fears. If you uh, experience fears, if you feel anxiety, depression, melancholy, welcome the sun in the morning, connect with the Venus, as, which is now morning star, beautiful beautiful venus as a morning star which gives joy blessing protection the more we are connected with heaven with the creator with the planets the more protected we are the less um anxious and depressed we will be so be happy don't be afraid nothing will surprise you um the same scenario will be played but maybe with different <laughs> um authors maybe maybe different um actors will uh, play the roles doesn't matter we know what is coming to happen because the beginning of every cycle of a planet is showing what the whole cycle will look like so remember what happened in november this is what this will be the color of the whole cycle of mars surprises possible uh, diseases, fake or manipulated or whatever, but this will be the flavor of the, of the year 2020. Uh, so since we know nothing should be uh, fearful to us. So be happy and see you soon.